Hey guys, Sean and Z here again. Now we're gonna run you through the squat exercise, which again is a big component of our programs. So I've got my, my demonstrator here again, Z. So the first thing, obviously, how high do you have the bar? Don't set it too high, so you have to come on your toes to get it over these little pegs. Always set it a bit lower, because then you can step under and lift away a lot easier, okay? So the first thing is how wide you grip. So again, it depends how, how mobile you are and your flexibility, how big you are. So Z, if you just take your grip, so the first thing I say is just make sure you're even on both sides. So when you're even on both sides, your head therefore should go in the middle. So Z, if you step under the bar. So the bar will sit just on his upper back, just right on this kind of meaty bit, so not too high, and then obviously also not too low. Once it's nice and tight there, think of pulling the shoulder blades together, and think of bending the bar over your back. So this there is then nice and solid. So then if you lift, step back, only step back just a, kind of one to two steps. Set your feet width, which is obviously kind of, again, dependent on, on, like on your style. So first things there I'd say is he, take a nice deep breath of air, so he fills his belly with air. Holds it tight. From there, he then sits back and down. As he does this, he drives his knees out. Knees out, Z. And then up. Again, depends how flexible you are. We'll say, um, determine how low we go as well. Go again, Z. And up. And again. So sitting back, knees out, keeping the chest up. Okay, let's just walk that in. So where do you look as well? So again, this is kind of depends on what, what's more comfortable for you, whether you want to keep that neutral spine, so Z's, Z kind of kept his head still, or whether you want to look up slightly. Um, just like another put in like Q, if you want to um, just kind of face the camera Z. So see before you squat, say if your feet are pointing straight, I want you to think of screwing your feet into the floor. So screw them into the floor so then you get your toes out slightly and then you've got all this tension on your outer hips and then squat from that position because naturally your knees will start to drift out which is obviously what we're looking for so just run through that so just stand up normal take, take your squat stance a little bit wider now screw them into the floor just slightly and now squat down so you'll feel just a lot more solid around the hips and knees with that a nice tight position. Step forward, Z. Screw your feet into the floor. Take a deep breath. Fill the belly out. Hold this solid. So everything here is solid. If you're not solid through here, you're not going to be able to drive that strength from your legs upwards. From there, squat down. Driving the knees out. See how, see how his knees stay over his toes? Because his head position stays still all the time. Go again. So whether you want to Reset kind of with your breathing after every rep or do maybe two to three reps again is dependent on, on your style really. Couple more. So that bar's solid, that bar's not going anyway because he's trying to bend over his back. Yeah, very nice. We're just going to run through the whole motion again. So Z, if you screw your feet into the floor, belly full of air, tie it up here. Squat down, so you see the first thing he does there is his hips go back first, knees driving out, so his back perfectly straight there and up. So you see, hips go back first, knees go out. Yeah. This is all about the form. Perfect. Yeah, nice.